background. Morn is with me. And, the occasional, and you may hear the occasional vehicle pass at speed. Thank you for joining the stream. This is Mushroom Fleet. You can find us on Twitter at Mushroom Fleet, Instagram at Mushroom Fleet. And then we have the Patreon for Tamino Summer and the SoundCloud for Tamino Summer. And you can like and you can follow, you can subscribe, you can like and subscribe, you can like and fuck follow. Anyway, let's get on with it. And press the bell icon to get press the bell. email. And make sure you press the bell because the subscribe button is useless now. And uh, to be fair, if you just watch my videos, you don't even need to subscribe or hit the bell. It'll give you the videos anyway because it's retarded. But we don't care about any of that. Someone sent me a comment on the last video I did, which was the Star Wars Imperial Small Destroyer. And uh, he said, how the hell did you put that together in so many words? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a little ride and I'm going to show you how we made the Star Destroyer in just 10 days, only playing about two, three hours a day. Uh, between New Year's Day and no between Christmas and New Year's Day that one week holiday there so hopefully the game's gonna load yep the game loaded and for some reason my ship's back and this is where it right that's another thing in this game you have to press F1 to save the game and I didn't press F1 after the stream so everything's back where it was when I started okay nice. yeah so, right, this is the uh, Star Destroyer in question. Okay, there's the ring world in the background. And like I say, we made this in next to no time, okay? Compared to other voxel games, this would take you months, all right? Even at one to four scale. Coming down to the back, if I just turn the light on here, you can see these engines, they're actually uh, hinges. Like there's about, I think there's a hundred hinges on the back of this ship. And each group of hinges is set to, I think, five degrees. So you have a block with a hinge set to five degrees with another block with another hinge set to five degrees. I started them off on the top. And if that was open, it would be straight, extending into the left and the right level. And each one goes five degrees, five degrees, five degrees, five degrees, five degrees, five degrees. I think it was uh, 36 or... Is it 16 times on each side? So 36 total, uh, adding up to 360. I can't remember the exact math, but that's that's what we've got. These ones are a slightly different angle because they've got smaller. Uh, they're smaller, and obviously that's why they're a bit square. I have free game angles. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out our game angles on Steam. Free demo, you can play it now. Angles. It's just a little side-scrolly hybrid 3D uh, adventure. Okay, so anyway, we're going to teach you how to build this and it's not going to take very long because i've already explained the engines and that's one of the harder parts is getting your head around how to do uh child entities so here we have the front now the nose is where the fun happens pretty much everything interesting about this build is here okay and i built it i start this was where i started and i built it backwards okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to remove a few of these sort of cosmetic blocks that's hiding things and then you'll be able to see what's going on okay whoops i want to turn the speed down a bit i think that's too much there we go right so if we take this out here you can see there's a hinge there there's a hinge here and there's a hinge here now i've got logic controlling all of the hinges at once and setting them to a specific degree but it's hidden inside the nose behind here right now, there is another hinge just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this hinge and I'm going to unfold half the ship. And it's going to look super weird, but you're going to see how this is put together, okay? Because the thing is that there is a limit of how many blocks you can put on each entity. So if you built this as just one shape, you'd run out of blocks, okay? But if you just build a block, put a hinge, and put another block on that hinge, it's a new new cap basically a new block limit okay so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this hinge first so we're going to right click that now you see what's happened there that's the belt line okay which gives you the side of the ship and now you can see it's hollow inside again trying to reduce the amount of blocks so that's going to fold all the way around okay done right so that's 
So just to give you an idea, that's how we've done this really nice looking edge here. We've done it with just one really long straight line set to the angle that we needed to make it clip perfectly in. And like you see, you can see it's down to the degree. Okay, and that's what I mean. This is why these hinges are so powerful. So now what we're going to do is, yeah, there's one underneath. So we'll do that. That's now flat. Oh wait, no, these ones go down to 90 degrees. That's right. Okay, so that one's going to turn. So that's your bottom half of the ship. Okay. And now we're going to do the top half. There we go. You showed the bottom first. <laughs> See that? Okay. So it's because what's the point? You got to get that angle nice. You got to get that angle so you can get the angle perfect by setting them. And it's all done here. If I just um, equip a piece of logic, I should be able to see where the lines are going. There we go. So if I put a, a thing on this switch, this, oh gosh, it's a bit burnt, don't be like, that switch, come on. There we go. That switch there, if you can see the links, they're going into the, uh, these sort of, uh, this is like a splitter, so it splits the signal. And then this is a mix gate. And as you can see, if I put my mouse over it, it's set to zero on the A side. You can barely see that. And then on the B side, so you, you, if you flip this from a zero to a one, it pushes the zero to a one through into, uh, sorry, into this. And then the output changes from a zero to a 0 0.84722. But yeah, we had to do some math, uh, but now the game does it for you. So you just put the degrees in when you activate this this node. Um, so if I, I think, right click on it. Yeah, at the moment, if I had this hooked up to a hinge, there would be an additional field here and I can put in the degrees and it converts it to the decimal value that we need. We used to have to do that ourselves early on, but he helpfully put it into the game. Now, after I hooked up this mix gate to the quad split, uh, which I think might be getting phased out, in fact, so we're going to do new tutorials on how to do all this stuff. But the concept is you set the hinge from a zero to a decimal value. So right now this is at zero and then this side is at the decimal value, which is equivalent to the degrees that you want, like five degrees here, two degrees there, minus two degrees there, something like that, right? And then, so that is those two. And you're probably thinking, well, obviously these two, these two here, they're going to be exactly the same as the front. And yes, I didn't, I could have done it in one big long thing, but I thought I may as well just split it into another one because I, I was worried I might be getting close to the cap or I might get close to it after decorating the top. I didn't really know exactly how many blocks I could get away with. So for the sake of um, speed, I just split it into uh, into twice as many. So, you know, you've got one, two, three, four parts for the deck um, on the front and then four for the deck at the back. All right. So um, I think I think I hid the hinge somewhere around here, but I'm not sure. So let's see if we can find it and you can download this ship so uh, you can check all of this out yourself. The download is in the official Sky Wanderers Discord showcase. Can I find it? Do you know why? It might actually be under might actually be underneath like on the inside edge so we'll go let's have a look uh, right gonna have to get through into the shell and slow down a bit right where are we where are we where are we oh no see I've done my best to try and cover everything up ah there we go right there we go so if I hit this button it's gonna fold those flat okay so you can see pretty much how that's done now the interior just comes out and meets the exterior because I noticed on the uh, ships that they don't have straight lines like if you see this line this line is level and if you look in the photos there the line is level with the next section on the back but then on the front it kind of it's still straight even though the deck actually is at an angle and that's the last one I haven't shown you by the way there is another angle 
to get the, the separation from the nose so it gets fatter on the vertical as well. And that would be this inch. So now the whole top deck's going to go up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it looks so messed up right now. <laughs> okay. And then, so you can see here now what I've done is I've built this to clip through or, or rather sit in front of the other section. I was inspired this design by the Lego. I don't know if you've seen the Lego Star Wars Star Destroyers. They actually open out from the middle, like uh, not in the same way I've done it, but they kind of open out along the middle to allow you to play inside with the little Lego figures, right? And that's what gave me the idea. I saw how they had the whole thing folding on several angles and thought, that's only like six hinges, I could do that. Um, and because this game allows you to do that, I mean, this looks like an absolute mess now. Like if I was to open every single hinge on the ship, okay, and obviously I did the interior after the fact. So the interior was just filling in the hollow space. There's the elevator. We've got mix gates on every uh, on every level for the buttons, which I showed. Um, these are the doors. So we've got the rails here. So if I just hook that button there, you can see this is just an indicator I've put on so that you can see where, where the door is. Okay, so that's the rail system controlling the doors. Uh, the turrets, I think that the turrets need to be completely overhauled. Um, and they're, they're way over there, upside down right now. The reason for that is that, uh, they, like I say, they got updated. They got a new system, I think, for the turrets. So I gotta, I gotta revisit that, but that's fine. Um, up the top here, you probably noticed there's two angles for the, for the roof. And yeah, it is exactly what it's, you know, there's exactly as I've done with the bridge. Now, where did I hide the hinges? Hmm. They're probably in the roof space above there, but they're hidden really well. I wouldn't like to dig them out right now. But essentially, this is down an angle, so it should be running straight. These are, uh, you know, they've got four, you've got four roof, uh, roof pieces, I guess. And uh, a few four floor pieces there, that's the same. Uh, coming back around here, you got the same thing at the back. No, actually, no. These are actually just wedges. We've got uh, two wedge, two wedge, two wedge, all the way up, actually. Uh, the greebling is just a bunch of random blocks because I thought it catches the light in a similar way at a distance. Like when you get up close, it doesn't look as good. Um, but when you're far away, it has the effect. So that's pretty much everything. That is uh, the thruster. Like I say, that's a whole bunch of hinges going round in a circle. And once you understand that, you can pretty much see that because you've set the degrees, you can make almost anything because of the way that you could set one degree, one degree, one degree, and then you've got four degrees, uh, you know, because you can put the hinge on any face of the cube that's attached to the last hinge. And so pretty quickly you can see that you can make some really complex designs with virtually no limitation on what the actual shape's going to be when you're talking about the polygon, you know, because obviously you want to have a nice flat shape. Like the biggest problem with voxel games is the jagged edges that you normally see. Even when you have custom wedges like this, these wedges are a four, four cube wedge, so it's four by one. And it's beautiful, okay, but you're still limited to just that angle. Whereas when you're using the uh, hinge set to a specific degree, you can have anything from zero to 360, pretty much. You know, one to 359. That's the range that you can build on. Um, so, right, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and put the ship back into a reason, into a useful state. And I think the best way to do that might be to just quit and reload the game. Because I didn't save it. Let's see what happens. So, I mean, I hope that shows you how you can make them. I mean, I'm going to go back now and just quickly... Um, show you the nose again just in case you didn't see clearly enough because it does only show one half of the hinge once you put a block down um, you can remove the other half of the hinge if you like but normally hinges are a two-piece block that fold out and then the piece that folds out you put a block on it and again you can put the block on either side of the hinge um, 
and that can be used in a number of ways but I've done other videos on that so go back and watch the uh, season one playlist that I did last December um, on Sky Wanderers and you'll get a better idea of how all the different hinges were working then obviously I'm going to revisit them in a season two update the tutorials and uh, you know demonstrate a lot of this stuff but really well, what I want to focus on is uh, looking at some community builds because there's loads of really good builds out there that I'd love to show people because um, I think I think that that's the best way to underline this is to show you what other people have done um, because when you start seeing what people have done with this game and then when you realize how it didn't take lots of time we've had these games before but it always takes forever to build anything and then when you've built it you're like eh, it's not quite what I was going for you know um, I built this for a speed challenge and it only took 10 days 10 days at three hours a day for a game like this you could say oh well that's like 30 hours but I've spoken to people in other games who have been building for like a year and they still haven't finished okay so bearing that in mind it's nice to get what you want faster in an acceptable way so yeah we're still looking at a loading screen come on sky one you can do it it did take quite a long time to load the first time around though I'm not gonna lie it didn't used to take this long to load but then it could be my fault okay I think I need to reinstall my game because uh, there are temporary files that are created a lot like Minecraft and other games that if you continuously upgrade and upgrade and you miss a few updates sometimes you've got some temporary files that are like referring to some other files that don't they're not in the game anymore that kind of thing um, so I'm gonna do a clean install soon and see if that sorts it out uh, also my blueprint itself it's quite a big blueprint it might actually cause a bit of uh, loading time but um, it would be nice to see the game again before I end the stream that's my only thought <laughs> yeah yeah you want to see the game you want to see the game that's not allowed exactly the game is the, the loading your... screen See, this is actually a puzzle. You have to find the right star to click on and then it loads quicker. But there's no cursor. <laughs> Nobody cursor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Please click on this button. There's no cursor. So you don't know where the mouse is. I'm only joking, by the way. That's not what it is. It's just a loading screen, guys. Right. I don't know if I can be bothered to wait for it, I'll be honest. I've, got, I've done everything I've wanted to show you. So, yeah. Um, leave us a comment if I didn't completely explain it well enough um, basically I've only making this as a short video to try and explain because somebody requested it so yeah hopefully that uh, explains how the hinge base building works it's just a bunch of hinges guys um, set the degrees and then you build off them done that's your cube okay that's how you make your giant cube <laughs> your battle cube Right, thanks for watching guys. I'm ending the stream. I'll be back in a little bit with something else. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the comments and uh, tell me this was a complete waste of time. You are dead now.